Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Yeshim Yahweh by Yeshim Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that rule well, and peace and blessings to you guys out there that's kicking his word in sincerity, also in truth. Uh, this is, um, uh, you see on the screen, it's my brothers from uh, LA. Uh, it's, um, Ablamos, uh, Laguinas. Excuse me, if I'm saying it wrong, brothers, but it basically means, uh, speaking the tongue. And these brothers are very diligent, uh, do the work very, very often, always doing sit downs, live shows, also in English and also in Spanish, you know, making the bodies live a sacrifice. You know, you have the people out there that say that Israel is, is only black, but that really doesn't make any sense because Israel has always mixed and mingled with various uh, nations. And also because of, of our transgressions, we were dispersed, uh, you know, into every, every, um, you know, every, uh, uh, basically nation, man. So it wouldn't make sense that, you know, Israel is going to be just strictly black. So let's get you some scriptures to uh, prove that point that I just said. Now this is Ezekiel 22 and 1. Moreover, the word of the of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Now, 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 thou son of man, wilt thou judge? Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. Thou says, thou, then shalt thou, thus said Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, uh, the city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. And who is, who is this city that, that the Lord is talking about? That city is the city, the, the nation of Israel, man. <laughs> You know, because Jerusalem is a people before a place. You see? So the Most High is, 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 is saying, telling Ezekiel to show his people his transgressions. You see? And those transgressions were idol worship, you know, and also bloodshed, us destroying one another. Whether it be actually murdering one another or sacrificing our children unto idols our people were doing that okay thou art become guilty in thy blood thou thou that has shed and has defiled thyself in thy idols which thou has made and thou has caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy uh, years therefore have I made thee a reproach Unto the heathen in a mocking of to all countries. And that's what we have become. We become a, a laughing stock to these various countries, to these various people because of our transgressions. And that's for so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Native Americans have been reduced to mascots. You know. That's how serious the Lord was. When he said that he was going to judge us. You have people out there. That call their teams. Uh, red skin. You know. Alluding to. So called Native Americans. Which are Gadites. All that was is a reproach. That was given to our people. Because of our transgressions. Okay. Those that be near and, and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which are art infamous and much vexed. Behold, the prince princes of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. And thee have they set light by father and mother in the midst of thee have they dwelt. Have they dealt by oppression with, with the stranger in thee? Have they vexed the fatherless and the widow? Thou hast despised many of mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbath. In thee are, are mine that carry tales to shed blood. And in thee 
they they uh, eat upon the mountains in the midst of thee they commit lewdness and thee have they discovered their father's nakedness and thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution and one hath uh, committed abomination with his neighbor's wives and uh, another has lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law and another in thee hath, hath humbled his sister, his uh, his father's daughter. And you see that? And that's what's going on now. Even now, we have the men of our uh, tribes. What are they doing? They're basically raping <laughs> the uh, women of their family. You know, totally going off. Into pedophilia, man. You see what I'm saying? In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increased. And thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion. And hast forgotten me, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And you see that in our communities. Swindling, swindling one another. Jack and, and engaged in, in Ponzi schemes. Trying to... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, case in point, the guy polite. He's supposed to be setting people up, you know, to to help them, you know, with their wealth or whether ever gaining uh, buying land. These people are giving him, you know, thousands of dollars, and he just take the money and run. And people, and what's crazy is our people love to have a show, so they trust in oppression because he's this guy still has followers. You see what I'm saying? Our people love Allah. Behold, therefore, I have smitten my hand at thy dishonor, this dishonest gain which thou has made, and at thy blood, blood which has been in the midst of thee. Can uh, can can thine heart endure, or can thy hands be strong in the days that I have? Dealt, dealt with thee I, I Yahweh by Yahshua Shah has spoken it and will do it and I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee so because of our transgressions what did the most I do for the most high he scattered us uh, uh, you know he scattered us you know Basically, to these various nations. And while we was in these various nations, what were we doing? Were we mixing and mingling with them? You see? So there's absolutely no way that Israel is going to be just all black. That, that makes no sense. Okay? Let's get to the next script. Ezra 9 and 1. Now, when these things were done, the princes came to me saying... The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites and Moabites and the Egyptians and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and and for their sons. So that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of their that those lands, yea, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. So you had our people, you know, in the time of Ezra, you know, which was I want to say after the uh, Babylonian captivity, we were mixing and mingling with not only Ham Hamites with with Ammonites and Moabites. You see. Our, our, the men of our uh, various tribes were taking these women and having children with them. And these children didn't know that they were Israelites. If you read down, you see, they, they didn't even know how to speak uh, Hebrew. And more than likely, they didn't look like your traditional Hebrew Israelite, which was dark skin. But some of them were light skin. You see what I'm saying? Some of them look like different nations. That happens when you mix and mingle. 
So I, the whole sea has always been mixed and mingled, man. Okay. And because of this trans this uh, transgression that you see here, what did the Most High do? The Most High put us into captivity. The Most High had it to where we were dispersed to, you know, the Western Hemisphere, in which you mixing and mingling continued. So you're gonna have Israelites out there that are not gonna look like just black, and uh, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans fit. The prophecy. Okay. Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he he hath scattered us among them. The, uh, there declare his greatness and extol him before all the living. For he is our Lord and he is, is the uh, God of our father forever. And that's what you see going on now. You see brothers standing up and, and confessing the true power, which his name is Yahweh, Yahweh, Bayashim, Yahweh Shah. And you're going to know that they are the children of Israel by what they profess. Okay? You should know them by your fruits. But you have a lot of people out there that claim that, that you know, Israel is only is, is black only, but they don't have any works. They don't go out on the highways and byways and when they do sit down is only to debunk what we believe in and not edifying the uh you know the body. And that's how we know that's another indicator that these people that they, they claim that Israel is only black, the most high is not dealing with them. Because again, they don't have any works. Where are you at on the highways and byways making yourself a living sacrifice? Because I tell you, let me tell you. These brothers right here are diligent, man. These brothers right here that you see on the... On the these brothers are, are, are diligent. These brothers are working. What are you doing, man? Where are you at? Why do I have to wait for you to, to, to get off your behind? When I have teachers before me... Doing the work, man. These brothers are doing the work. You know, where is your work at, man? Okay. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though Yahweh by Yashim Yahweh give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. So, hey, the Most High has put us into captivity, and now he has risen us up. Why? Via, via the, the prophets of his, his prophets. And you, his prophets are not going to be hid in the corner. The prophets of the Lord are not going to be guys that are just talking trash on the Internet. You are going to be able to see your prophets. Where are you guys at, man? If, 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 if what... You know, my elders are saying and your apostles are saying is incorrect. What can I follow you? Where are you at? Why are you so why why are you just, you know, complacent with just being on the internet? Jacob makes the argument, well, who should you have to be on YouTube? Okay, you don't have to be on YouTube. Where are you at, physically speaking, man? Because you could come to see us. You know where we're at. You know? We're out there on the highways and byways weekly, two days out of the week, man. Pushing the word, you know, and those people who are pushing the words are uh, a lot of them are so-called Latinos and so-called Native Americans. But you dark skin only Israelites, where are you at, man? Where is your work? Don't don't give me no uh, uh, you know YouTube page in which you post every once in a while when you feel like it. I'm talking about being out there on the highways and byways, man. Making your body a living sacrifice. Being uncomfortable. Staying up for what you believe in. If the most high is dealing with you. Okay? Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are, are, are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? 
Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that's what you see with these guys. These guys have evil tr uh, uh, fruit, man. You know, we guys have thorns, you know, thistles, and you you're not an acceptable fruit. You don't have you don't you don't have any work. All your work is is consumed with telling telling us that we're wrong. Okay, if we're wrong, then tell me what's right, bro. Tell me what's right. We don't we obviously don't agree, right? About you know Israel being all black. Go out there and teach. Go out there on the highways and byways and teach your doctrine, man. Stand up for what you believe in. That's what we're doing. Why is that? Because Yahweh by Shimei Hashem has convicted us too. He had given us the spirit too. We want to do this work, man. We're not laying back enough for anybody else's work. We have our own work. Where's your work at? Since you're so smart. A good tree bringeth cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And you guys are corrupt uh, uh, trees, man. You know, your soil, your soil is not giving you enough nutrients. Your foundation isn't giving you enough nutrients, man. There's no light in you. And how do I know that? Because you don't have any works. You're not there. You're not on the highways and byways like them brothers that you saw. Giving up your life. Making yourself uncomfortable. Put, putting yourself in situations to where people like yourself can judge them. You know, you're comfortable in your, in, in your little studio or in, 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 your, in your kitchen making vids anonymous, anonymously. Okay. That's how we know that the Most High is not dealing with you. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into fire. And that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be cast into fire. Because you're not standing up for your Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh You're just being a scoffer. The majority of you black only Israelites are just scoffers. I've yet to see a camp that says black is black only Israelites. Yet. But yeah, you want to come on brother's page and say that the Israelites aren't, uh, 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 the uh, Israelites doesn't consist of uh, Latinos and Native Americans. Ezekiel three and one, and the word of Yahweh came un unto me, saying, "Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts." Because you don't like, because you don't like Native Americans and Latinos, you prophesying at your own heart. You, you're negating prophecy. Okay, which been brought out. He's what uh, Second Ezra's the thirteenth chapter, right? Been brought out. You know what I'm saying? You you negate that because you have a vendetta. Because you want it to be an all black thing. You're not spiritual. Most of not dealing with color. Get out of that shit. You're playing into the narrative of a so-called white man. Black and white. And all that madness. It's about nationalities. Thus, uh, uh, thus saith Yahweh power. Woe unto the false prophets that follow their own spirits and have seen nothing. You guys haven't seen anything. Now, and I could tell that you haven't seen anything because everything that you do, all your sit downs it is, a, is a counter to to the, to the true man of Israel, the true prophets of Israel, man. The most I dealing with you, you be getting revelations and also you will be out there on the highways and byways kicking the word. And hey, we just read it in Isaiah 30 and verse 20. That you're that the prophets aren't gonna be hidden in a corner. Why are you in a corner, man? Why aren't you laboring? Why aren't you putting yourself out there so you could be judged by the masses like we do? How come you don't start standing up for the Lord, for your power? 
prophesying in, 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 in comfortably, uh, comfortably in your, in your, in your house, man. You supposed to be building the house of your house by Shimi Hawashai. Shame on you. O Israel, thy prophets are like the, the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither have made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in, in the battle in the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. Where are your prophecies at? How come you don't prophesy? You black only Israelites don't even prophesy, man. Don't go into current events. All you do is just try to rebuttal what we believe in, man. And talk trash. Meanwhile, all hell is about to break loose. All hell is about to break loose, man. There's a coup that's going on in Venezuela. Food is about to go up exponentially. They're teaching children. They're making it mandatory in UK that children be taught about homosexuality and transgenderism at the age in the uh, age of nine, which is what fifth graders. How come you ain't reporting on this? Where are your works? And why should I follow you? Why should anybody listen to you? The most high is not dealing with you guys, man. It's evident. If you don't repent, the most high is going to destroy you, man. You better wake up. Call all your how about shimmy how shot.